Um, I mean, I worked from 15 to 18, I worked in, as a grave digger yeah. in Duckingfield Cemetery. Uh, I worked uh, at Ashton Brothers in the cloth room, yeah. I did my back in, yeah. carrying canvas. I worked uh, washing pots, I worked in uh, spraying aircraft hangers, mm -hmm. George Kenyon, Sir George Kenyon. Mm -hmm. We go to Bath and spray up some underhand, got asbestosis because we used asbestosis. Mm -hmm. And I had a variety of like filthy, heavy manual jobs which uh, mm -hmm. paid me enough to keep myself going. Right. Um, so, you know, I've got a job shunting on the railway. Mm -hmm. Juice now, when I broke my fingers, um, and all kinds of jobs like that. And then I went from Ashton Art School to Bradford, from mm. 18 to 20, Bradford, Yorkshire. Yeah. Um, that was a completely different world altogether. Mm -hmm. It was like going to, back into the dark ages, really. Yeah. I, you know, entered the slave with an open heart and an open mind and produced huge canvases yeah. on the seven girls who, who were murdered at that time. I thought Freddie Mills had done it. If you look in your art canvas. Yeah. There were seven girls. I think one was Carl McGowan. And I think huge ten foot canvases of these, you know, slightly bacon esque things mm. of these murdered women because they were struck with all this kind of violence. That, mm confronted by as a 20 year old fellow, yeah. you know, I couldn't believe what I saw. I, I didn't get on very well with other painters, other artists no. at all. I mean, they're a bit like Staffordshire Bull Terriers, they're all like <laughs> humans, but they ain't, you know, the fight yeah. to the death of each other. Yeah. And there was a, there was a, a crew from Yorkshire mm -hmm. who used to particularly wind me up. <laughs> and, um, you know, they, they got into physicals and yeah. they, they was, um, People from all over Maine, Ned, Portsmouth, England, but yeah. it was an international place. We had people like Prince Albert from Nigeria and yeah. God knows what. You don't associate artists with fighting fisticuffs, do you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, what about Caravaggio? I mean, Caravaggio murdered two people. Yeah. 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 I think it's only because they've been suppressed and uh, they've been tamed, they're not really artists. You don't get any uh, reaction. I mean, looking at Bush last night, uh, I think every man in the country worth his soul would want to get at him. He'd buy his body language. I mean, he walked back across between <coughs> James Cagney and, and an East End uh, car salesman. You know, he, he, was, he was up for uh, having a dig at somebody. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'd have loved to have been a lot of watch and kicked him in the box, you know, definitely. Yeah. Uh, and any other man would have just sort of feel the same way, just yeah. looking at the guy's kisser. I mean, he's a bloody warmonger, <laughs> you know, and he wants the armor to do it for him. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, I mean, I'm not a, a roust about, you know, I'm, I'm not advised to pull it through the work <laughs> in, in the painting or yeah. whatever I'm doing. But sometimes I have to paint very big in order to transmute, trans transmute and rid myself of that energy. Mm. So sometimes yeah. um, I've had to work on murals which would be anything up to uh, 100 yards long. Yeah. Oh my God, because it was 100 yards long now. Yeah. These are things that are massive and they, they get rid of yeah. your physical frustrations. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was like punching the wall, punching the canvas. Yeah, yeah. But you're doing it with huge brushes and paint. You're getting out of the system. Yeah. Well, I can't do that anymore. I, I did my last one uh, in Denton. Um, at a very old age, a few years ago. Um, I couldn't I couldn't do it. Dealing with you know the, the musicians, the artists, the photographers, the creators of, of that era. Well, um, the thing was in, in, in the 60s you got to one of... Parties, I suppose. Yeah. You young, young man. You, you got to one of three colleges, either Slave Academy or the Hornsey College of Arts, biggest, big rising. Yeah. And 
And then you got into one of my three or four galleries, Kasmin, Robert Fraser, and so on. And I managed to... Can you spell those names? Kasmin with the Kasmin. Kasmin. In the paperwork there, they could be. K A S M I N. He was not Jewish, homosexual. Robert Fraser, as you'd expect. He was homosexual and all, but they all were. But I'm not bothered about that. It's just that if you are completely different, they're not going to entertain you. Mm. But I managed to get an exhibition of Robert Fraser's mm -hmm. because I was a pushy bastard and I was broke and we needed. And then I started painting at the same time. The, 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 then the furniture, the chairs, and the, the, the old bits of plastic. Uh, uh, wild days. But uh, then the, you know, the slave. I was, you know, that was, the, 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 was these girls that was drawing. So I, I was going around Seoul. I'd never seen anything like Seoul. I was looking at the girls in the window because they were, yeah. they were found like that. Yeah. Know? Yeah. I remember this Greek uh, Italian came out in a tuxedo. He wore a tuxedo. Wasn't it? Yeah. With a crinkly shirt, yeah. sort of thick set, black wavy curl, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you want to come in? I said, well, I would if I could afford it. <laughs> so he took out the 10 bob notes, 10 bob notes, and he threw it behind him. He said, if you can get that, you can come in. I thought he was kidding. He just went, <laughs> oh, thanks very much. And he went mad. <laughs> and set about me, so I banjoed him and all. And he couldn't believe what I'd hit him. You know, because he was a London pumpkin, really. Yeah. You know, um, his father came out and started hitting me with a, with a, a cane. He had silver hair. Right. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> and cane. Well, I was at the slave. Yeah. Uh, and, and what, because they came to buy and, pieces? And, and through the slave and through Keith Vaughan. Right. Because Keith Vaughan was, uh, you know, he's always been invited to buy. I met David Ockney again. Yeah. Um, Derek Bolsher, yeah. an artist of that ilk, and that was yeah. completely different. Yeah. Uh, and then just where I lived in Primrose Hill, I moved to Brecknock to Primrose yeah. Hill. Yeah. It was teeming with artists. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I thought, well, I'm painting furniture, I'm painting this, I'm going to paint Dylan's car from a Buick 6. I yeah. love the car, the Buick 6. Yeah. So I customised the Buick 6. Is it here? Yeah, I've seen the picture. Yeah. Brilliant, yeah. And yeah. then, you know, everybody knew me in London. Everybody wanted there was loads, as, as in Manchester, it was like, you know, it was flooded with amphetamines, benzodrine, yeah. black bombers, purple arts, because everybody wanted to keep awake. Yeah. You know. And I took that as well, just like any other scroll. To me. <laughs> and, you know, did myself a lot of head damage with it because you know it was right heavy heavy stuff. Yeah. Got rid of that. When we got to London it was like flooded with cannabis. Oh sorry, that was in Manchester, yeah. not in London. No. Well, what was floating around London? Oh though? cannabis, um, you know, marijuana. Because people like uh, Hell were getting nicked and, and, and Oh yeah. yeah. Everybody every, McCartney was getting nicked. Yeah, every, it doesn't matter what they say, everybody was into it. Every student under the sun, yeah. every artist, every poet, every estate yeah. agent, you know, don't matter. But as well as, as alcohol, yeah. wine. Yeah, as well as alcohol and wine and whatever else, egg flip.